everyone welcome to Sri Solar Life. I hope I have seen uh, all the videos related to the solar which we have uh, published in our uh, YouTube channels. Uh, I believe we have got uh, some information about how to design the systems before proceeding it. Uh, uh, today we are going to see the locations uh, for the sizing, solar sizing for the particular locations. Uh, that will be in, uh, location would be in Karnataka, uh, it's near to the Bangalore. The exact location will be Iskon Temple and uh, it's, uh, the country will be in India. Actually the exact locations coordinations will be 12.90 and uh, no, 12.90 and 77.54 will be the latitude and longitude for the locations. Uh, assume uh, that locations, I, I just uh, taken that location as assumptions. So uh, assume if you have the space or uh, place or uh, your residential or commercial any kind of installations required for that locations. So just want to know what would be the panel rating for that uh, locations. Uh, I just want to you, you to be clear, uh, uh, this is the standard uh, system like what we are designing for that particular locations. That doesn't mean it's going to sit fit for all the locations. So you have to be very clear to the proceedings, the systems before doing whatsoever. Uh, that's what uh, we are trying to say that so uh, if you want to make a perfect systems probably you can follow us so you can uh, get a lot of inputs from us <coughs> so here uh, uh, as i said uh, it's location uh, the location will be in escon temple yeah just a minute yeah uh, so i think um, most of the indians know the locations uh, where the temple will be in that's in karnataka so near to the Bangalore. So here uh, we have taken. Uh, uh, here we have taken the units like, oh, uh, assume if you have the uh, any kind of uh, uh, could be a residential home near to that, or I have taken that location is the exact. Assume if you have the facility, I mean if you have the home there or any other commercial there near to the locations. So we have here we have the consider the loads. So first we are going to tell you the loads. Uh, like how we have considered here, so I'm going to uh, let you know that. So we have considered here 25 watts uh, uh, load, four numbers that's running for eight hours per day, and 100 uh, 10 watts loads, two numbers uh, that's running uh, six hours per day, 100 watts load, four numbers that's running uh, 12 hours per day, and uh, 100 watts loads one uh, one, one number that's 12 hours running per day, and 50 watts loads one quantity uh, that's running for eight hours per day. So, it's each loads we have calculated. So all the loads you are running for 100% duty cycles. So in this case, uh, what would be the sizing the panels? So as you like, uh, we have uh, consider all the design criteria. I, I I believe we have seen my past videos uh, related uh, to the system sizing. So we have consider all the weather conditions, as well as the panel rating, losses, D rating, aging, etc. When you design the batteries, I mean the systems, you want to store the energy to the backup batteries. You have to consider the autonomy date. It could be a one or two, whatever it is, based upon your requirements. So we have considered all the design criteria for the systems before doing it, as well as we have taken a um, lot of historic data for last five or ten years. Yeah. So a lot many data we have taken on the system here. Uh, so as per these uh, locations, you have to go with that uh, panel ratings would be, uh, before going to the panel rating of course, uh, according to the, our load uh, uh, ex extremations, so we have, uh, you need to go with that uh, yearly we are generating, so as per this load, uh, if you calculate uh, for the entire year, the units will be 2886.23 units for entire year for enter for the entire years so approximately monthly it will be something around 200 units if you are going to generate this particular area so in this case uh, so the panel rating will be 2700 so wp panels here i could tell you that we have considered here poly constraints so if you are changing any of this uh, type of the panels obviously how to go with that uh, before going to uh, selecting the panels uh, you need to be very clear as whatever panels you are selecting into this and uh, what would be the grade ratings could be uh, proceed go with that uh, grade ones you have to see the lot of uh, technical characteristics and properties of the panels uh, before proceeding it 
So once we have uh, installed the panels, we have to be uh, very clear with the conversion kits and the protection circuits a lot. Uh, so that will help you a lot. So you have to be very clear as whether you want to design the system for the 2 years or the 10 or 20 years, so whatsoever. Yeah, so so according to these calculations, uh, so if you go with this battery, you can, you can go with the so one day autonomy, you can put a tone numbers batteries. If you want to increase the autonomy, you can put a series parallel combinations. I, then you can increase the number of autonomies you want to achieve. And then uh, here uh, we have considered the diesel tall tubular. Uh, yeah, it could be cheaper in India, of course, comparing to other technologies. Uh, so here I believe. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have covered the, all the points here for these locations, I believe. So if you have any concerns or if you have any questions, uh, probably you can put an email to sri-solar-life at uh, gmail.com as well as uh, uh, many people have already been in this, um, working in the systems or into the uh, solar related jobs or something else. Uh, you may have any questions or concerns or uh, you want to be very clear before proceeding anything, so probably you can approaches uh, we will work out for you so here uh, we are not uh, going to be covered only the for residentials we have a wide variety of uh, design systems here we could be able to provide a lot of uh, applications uh, even for industrial applications um, uh, even you may have uh, need to go with the solar panels for the remote application as well so, uh, to run the electronic kit for 12 hours or 24 hours whatsoever Particularly, I could say is for the fiber optics or broadband related shop. They where they need they may need the solar systems. Uh, probably they may have to spend a lot of money to go with the uh, cabling systems with the electricity departments, right? So in that case, they may go with the solar panels. Of course, you may have uh, uh, more concern about uh, your energy consumptions, like how you want to design based upon the uh, power consumptions at your electronic kits or your loads whatsoever so probably if you have any concerns let us know that and uh, I hope uh, you have you be clear as well. you understood for the video I mean what we are trying to explain here we want to be very sure the solar panels uh, you know all has to be very sure uh, to be very clear when you design the solar panel it's not like uh, based on the uh, kilowatts or uh, kVA is based on the cells panel selections you have to be calculate the loads so how many loads you want to run per day and per week per month per years so we want to be very clear before proceeding that so you have to clear uh, you have to generate uh, calculate all the loads and you have to see which panel can generate and uh, what be the what will be the rating for the panels if you go with that so that's what we are trying to explain here i hope uh, you guys have understood uh, and thank you for watching this video please share to uh, share this video to your friend circles and let uh, just put an email if you have any requirements yeah thank you bye